G'day guys, welcome back. Look, I've got my spinner out today. Woohoo! So this is what I've got underneath. It is a metal cake turntable. Nice, heavy, sturdy one. I've got my push pins underneath because when you take your canvas, your wet canvas off, you need to be able to put it down somewhere. So make sure you remember those. Now, it fits pretty much just inside here. This is a 16 inch square, 40 centimeters. So it, the turntable comes to about there. So it really, like it, it can't move very much at all. So I just make sure it's centered. And I'm going to do, as you can imagine, <laughs> a spin pull. Um, similar, maybe something like this. That's just the previous one I've done. It just gives a pretty kind of feathery effect. And then, and then I'm going to put a marble through it. So I've got a couple of marbles here. That one's a little bit smaller than that one. But I'm not sure which one I'll use, but we'll see. Because the paint's pretty thick, so you might have to use the bigger one. So um, what else can I tell you? Pouring medium. Um, I always use a thicker pouring medium when I'm doing my ring pours because I want my rings to stand out. I want them to stay nice and ring-shaped. I don't want them to blend too much. So 70% glue. 30% water and then I mix that one part pouring medium to one part paint so I've got all my my colors and I'm going to use this gorgeous creature my six split cup so I've got white purple um, <clears throat> turquoise lime yellow pink and black so those are the colours that I'm going to put in my cup. Um, I'm also going to do a black base, but I'll just put these in first. There we go, hopefully I can reach. And then I've got my black base as well, but I'll, I'll layer this first and then I can move my cup and put the black base down. The black is much thinner. It's three parts pouring medium to one part paint. Um, because you know you want your colors to slide nicely over that so let me get my gloves on and we shall get this show on the road Ooh, we're spinning on we're on our own are we just wait for me you guys just be patient so I've got six compartments I know I've got seven colors but I wanted all these colors so um, just bear with me I'm going to put white in that end black in that end and then I'm going to put the colors in I'm probably going to do maybe four layers of different colors so we'll start here this is going to be very frustrating if you're going to keep moving oi cut it out can someone jump down here and hold this for me please <laughs> it's just because I've got the weight of these paints maybe if I put them a bit closer they might not go anywhere now stay <laughs> Oh my gosh, that didn't help. All right, this is very frustrating. Let me just put a, these are my paints, they're Montmartre's. Can you see those? That's the pink. I'm just going to pop that there and that'll stop it from moving. I've got the yellow, medium yellow, um, the lime green, the turquoise. It's just turquoise with a bit of blue. The purple is purple with a little bit of pink in it just to make it a little bit more sort of a, a lighter shade. Okay, so that's the, um, the black and the white in. Now, you stay there and you stay there and I'll wedge you in. Now, don't go anywhere. Just be patient. Right, so purple next to the white. This split cup holds 500 grams or 18 ounces of paint. I'll try and go quick, guys. Now, I want the pink next to the black, so you're going to go in there. Is that another lump? I've had lumps in my paint. <laughs> All right, so now I've got white in that one, purple in that one. So now I'm going to just sort of jump across one. Um, so the purple will go in on top of the white so I'm still going to stay in the same order but just moving down one do you know what I mean and 
what is what are you in there oh gosh uh, okay you're the green in there yellow now that one's already got the pink in it so I'll put a little bit of black on you it's gonna be a little bit tricky here because I haven't got and then I'll put the yellow no where am I gonna put the yellow oh my gosh I'm gonna put the pink I'll just have to remember that that one hasn't got any extra in it pink okay now okay now because I've just I've got a color in each now I'm just going to kind of just add my colors now just however they come out and I'll just keep going with the layering until it's full so now what have you got you've only got I keep forgetting what have you got now you've got black I have to have a look here I think you've just got black I can't even remember all right um, let's put some purple in there and then a little bit of pink all right so they're basically all sort of filled up the, about equally and then I'm going to go with some black over here and I'll put some black in the middle as well and then I don't think this one over here has had any turquoise green and then I don't think we've got any yellow up here I don't want to put the yellow on the black though because it gave it gives a icky color so we won't do that put some pink down here a bit of pink in there I don't think it matters too much you know what goes where just try and alternate them a little bit and I should put some more white on I haven't got much white some white in there you're nearly full Put some white in there and you're full yellow you're full and yeah, it's a bit hard trying to remember you know what went in each one so as long as you've got your first sort of two layers if you can remember to put those in sort of with the correct colors the rest of it doesn't really matter and you don't have to do as many layers as I am you can just do two or three um, I just find that um, more layers like this as long as your colors are nice and thick it gives a really pretty effect that's the green done um, let's put some of the whoops turquoise in there I'll put a little bit of a little bit more black just in the middle there all right I've got a little bit of color left over fit a tiny bit more in on top of you and there's a little bit of space left for that yellow not much though all right so that's pretty much it that's all I can fit in um, probably made up a little bit more than was necessary okay so now we've got that we'll move you out of the way sit over there you guys can go back thank you for helping Make sure that we're still taping. Yes, we are. Okay, so now um, our black base. Here it goes. So yeah, make sure that your black is nice and thin, thinner than your other colors, so that um, they can sort of flow nicely over this. It's basically just something for those colors to slide on. And oh, I'll use this little guy to just spread it out. 
So in my cups, my coloured cups, I did 50 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of paint. And then this black, I did 90 grams of pouring medium and 30 grams of paint. So it's a three to one for those that are interested in knowing how much. So basically this size canvas needs about 500 grams of paint plus the, um, the background. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use my glove. I'm just going to... Look, I'm dirtying my clean pedal pad. I had to change my pedal pads in my doggy swimming pool. This is a doggy swimming pool, this one. It's um, it's a foldable thing, so it's really nice if you don't want to use it all the time. I actually just pick it up and put it underneath my table when I'm not using it. And I'll probably get about maybe five or six paws out of these puppy pedal pads. I've got one full one in the center, and then I cut another two in half and stick them to the sides. Uh, I think it's a 80 centimetre one because you can get different sizes. I just got it on eBay, but I think you can get them on Amazon as well. Um, but yeah, this one's just a, like an 80 centimetre. I just had to get make sure that it would fit on my table. If you've got a huge table, obviously you can, or maybe if you're using it on the floor, you can get a bigger one if you want to use bigger canvases. But um, I don't really want to do huge ones because they really take up a lot of paint. All right, I'm just going to smooth this over. I think that's it. Okay, now the fun part begins. Gosh. All right, just cleaning my hands. Now, it's very full, so it's difficult to, to pour to begin with. I'm going to stand over on this side here so that you can see. So I'm going to pour anti-clockwise and I'm going to move the canvas in the same direction also anti-clockwise you could if you wanted to go clockwise with the canvas and then anti-clockwise with this but um, my best one that I've ever done I put, did them both in the same direction so I'm going to go again alrighty oh my gosh all right here we go so it's going to kind of all blob out to begin with um, because it's so full but um, hopefully when it when I can sort of get a bit more control over it um, I'll be able to make better rings oh my gosh there goes a blob so here we go I'm just going to turn slowly so as you get as you can get closer you'll find that your rings will be like a better shape they'll be more rounded there we go um, when you're still quite high up from the canvas um, the rings tend to be a little bit sort of wobbly and wiggly as they come down I'm just going to concentrate here guys Turning it, turning it. Oh, that was a big one. You can see it's kind of starting to get kind of like a feathering sort of a shape to it. Try not to turn it too much, otherwise you get like um, too much of a turn in the centre. But have a look at the yellow. See what the yellow is doing? Like it. It's on the side, it's also behind me, behind my hand. Now, it's a bit hard to explain, but you can see that it's, I'm not pouring like a proper circle, so to speak. It's, it's like an off-centered circle. It's kind of like a, it looks as if it's like a big worm curled up. Oh, look at that pink. Oh, it looks amazing. So just keep going, little, little, um, rings and see how I'm getting really close to the canvas you get more control over your rings your circles if you can get nice and close to the canvas
if this is really really beautiful i might not want to even marble it what do you reckon i might not want to now i'm going to have to actually just support that because my hand's getting sore and i'm getting towards the end now anyway so i need to have better control slow that down a bit so I'm, i find i need two hands at this stage but i do want to just turn it a little bit more And then you need to catch your drips. I did start in the middle. I was trying to stay in the middle, but um, I think my hands kind of wandered a little bit further away from me. I'm having to stretch over a little bit more now. Mm, gosh, it gets difficult towards the end. Just don't drop your cup into the paint. <gasps> that would be terrible, wouldn't it? So when you're ready, you're going to have to try and just stop that flow you're going to have to catch the last little drips um don't stick your finger in the paint in the canvas be really careful if you do like not have a, a very good little twist or turn at the end there whoops catch 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 yay you can um oh my gosh that was tricky you can use a skewer um and just like curl that last little bit around if, if you haven't got it exactly right you can just sort of do this yeah sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work but it wasn't too bad oh my gosh this pouring is hard work look at that doesn't it look pretty so you can see what i mean about it looking like a like a snake sort of curled up there um yeah so if if you turn if you turn your canvas really fast you end up with more of like a like a double worm oh it's just hard to explain see i've only got the one curl there if you spin it around a lot you get like multiple like curls and i don't think it gives as nice a look all right um um, um, um should i torch i don't really want to torch because i'll get like the bubbles will pop and i'll get little dots look at those colors <gasps> i wonder if i can zoom you in a little bit now oh probably not i'll wait until after i've spun and then i'll try and zoom you in a bit okay here we go i'm just going to do a little spin to begin with and see what the paint's going to do now the other thing if you put your hand down and stop this canvas and it goes bang, 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 you're gonna, your um, circles are going to be like wobbly. That You're going to actually do this with the, um, your circles and they're going to they're be like, they're going to look as if they're jarred. Does that make sense? I might try and turn, get that little circle off. So if you are going to stop it, do it really, really gently underneath like this. Just really slowly stop it because, it, like I said, if you go... And stop it in a like a jerk like that it's going to zigzag your paintings oh god i'm not making much sense today am i i'm trying there's a blob there look there's a big blob of something in my purple paint i thought i picked it all out all right now i'm going to go the opposite way spin the opposite way so i'm going to take my time here i'm just going to try and cover the canvas I don't know about that circular thing there. I might have to get that off. That was where I just kept going like in one place, one little circle, and I wasn't moving the the canvas. So you can see the difference. So I might actually, that didn't really do much, did it? Let's go a little bit, a little bit more fast. Get that paint going. Let's see if we can get that <clears throat> little wormhole looking thing off I think you get this really pretty 3d effect by doing this um, like turning the canvas while you're pouring I'm getting dizzy watching it <laughs> uh, look away look away I'm getting dizzy okay let's stop this gently stop it just gently put your fingers underneath 
try not to hit the push pins when you're putting your fingers underneath because that will jar it as well. Oh, look how pretty it's looking. Still haven't got that away. Even if I get to see where the blob is, even if I can get that down, it won't look as noticeable as being a circle. Now, uh, which way did I go? Let's go the opposite way again. I like going one way and then the opposite way, just to kind of center it all a bit better. All right, I'll look up rather than down because I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> oh, I'm love, loving that dark background, the, the black around the outside. See, I purposely put the black on the outside of my cup because I wanted that. All right, let's stop it and see what it's looking like. Looks as if that's, look, it's just about gone over down there. And I should probably leave it like that. Oh, I don't know if I want to put the marble through it now. <laughs> because when I, like, when I pick it up to tilt the marble, I'm probably going to tilt some of that off anyway. Oh, wow, look at that. I should take a photo of it <laughs> before I maybe ruin it with the marble. Okay, now, I'm going to do the marble. I said I would. I said I would. Let's do it. Um, now, which size marble do I want between my fingers? Um, I wonder how thick my paint is. I might try the, I might try the little one. Let's put you there. Mm, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Let's just yeah. Let's pop you there. <laughs> okay. Now this is where I'm just going to pick it up, and I'm going to. Just tilt it a little bit. Ooh, around we go. And I'm going to go through that blob there. Oh, kind of through it. Let's get you off, blob. All right. Now let's find my marble. There it is. I'll give it a bit of a, a wipe down and we'll go again. You guys are probably saying, you've ruined it. But hey, look, oh my gosh, I'm dropping the marble. Dropping my marbles. But look, I wanted to do it. I wanted to see what it would look like. Right. Um, I think that's enough down there. I'm just going to do a little bit more here and then that'll do. You don't have to do a lot, you know, you can do as much or as little as you want. Oh, there's a lot of black through there. I wonder why that happened. Look at that. My black must be, um, hopefully it'll close over. My black must be a little bit on the thick side. It did feel a little bit thick, my black, like I had to add a little bit of um, water to it. Hopefully it'll close up. It's left a nice little black river there, which isn't what I was hoping for, but I got it. All right, now let's stand back and have a little look at that. I feel as if it needs something in here. I think. I think so. I'm just going to pop it there. And I'm just going to go and I'm going to follow this one because I don't feel as if I've got very much of a design through there. And I'm just going to kind of go off there. All right, how's that? It's balanced it a little bit more, hasn't it? Woohoo! <laughs> what do you think, guys? Do you like it? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's really pretty. Really pretty. And um, 
that's closing up a bit. I mean, yeah, I've got quite a thick black line through there. But um, just, you know, sometimes the blacks are thicker. I always find I have to add more water to my blacks. Gosh, I've made a mess. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to run my finger under here and catch the paint that's dripping down so it doesn't continue to drip. There we go, all the way around. It's, it's like it's got a light side and a dark side, this painting. There's the dark side on the, the bottom there. Actually, if you look, oh, it's kind of got a dark around the outside, hasn't it? And then it's got that lighter section in the middle. It's really pretty. Oh my gosh, where's my, where's all my cloths? Look at my hands, look at the state I'm in. I thought I had two cloths in here. All right, I'm gonna get you down for a bit of a close up. And um, I don't think I wanna do any more. Do I wanna do any more before I finish? Mm, this side hasn't got very much going on. No, let's leave it. Sometimes you can do too much um, and then you kind of lose your initial whole pattern, you know, your design. I just want to see if I can close this black up a little bit. Mm, probably not. I just don't like that black line through there. I don't think there's much I can do about it though. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Okay, um, no, look, I'll, I'll leave it. See, it's quite a dark, I've kind of squished it in a little bit. No, see there's not much paint left on the canvas now um, for me to move it. And I think when if I start moving it now, um, I'm just going to lose my, my design. So yeah, lesson learned. If you're going to do a marble pour and you're using black or anything really, make sure your, your colours are all the same consistency. Otherwise you tend to get that, that line there. Alrighty, let me get you down. I said I'm going to get you down. Let's get you down. Turn my ring light off. Okay. Oh, you're quite high up there, aren't you? <laughs> okay, let's go and have a look. Let's have a little peekaboo. Turn this around the other side now that I'm down here. So I've got some gorgeous colours going on. It reminds me like just of a jungle. And, you know, maybe that's the, like, palm trees or, not the palm trees are in a jungle, but they look like palm fronds, don't they? The way the, the lines are. Now, look at that. Look at those colours. That's where the marble went through. So it's pulled all those, all those rings down. You get that gorgeous shape, but look at the colours in there. So that's what I'm saying about having your mix nice and thick. So that your lines stay nice and separated. Like even that one up there, I'll come around the corner, even that one up there that's got a lot of black in it, it still looks really pretty because you can see the, the green and the pink and the purple. at the edge and what the side looks like the sides tend to look really pretty as well some in the shadows look at the sides and then look at those colors haven't got very much mud at all really there's a little bit up there just where that marble pulled through the black but we won't look at that look at those colors oh they're just amazing that was so much fun did you guys like that? Did you enjoy that? Or are you just wishing that I'd left it alone and not put the marble through it? But I see I've done that before. I've done lots of spin pours and I wanted to see what it would look like with the marble. 
So I'll have another go. If Let me know if you want me to have another go with the marble or whether you just want to see more of these um, spin ring paws. I can do that. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, I'll get myself cleaned up. <laughs> I might leave this puppy pool out actually now that it's out and um, I can do a few more spin paws on it while it's out. I won't put them all up in a row, but I'll do more um, different colours. Loving how I've got that dark around the outside though. It just frames it. All right, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay, take care. Love you all. Bye for now.